This is the most expensive shrimp in the world. They're known as the Carabinero shrimp or the Scarlet shrimp. I got these from Wolf's Fish, and I believe these ones are actually from Italy and can run you about $30 for just one. I've never tried it before, and I wanted to know if these are worth the money. So I'm going to compare it with some farm-raised shrimp. I'm going to make a few of my favorite dishes, then do the shrimp some justice with my attempt at a Michelin star dish. I wanted to try this with the purest flavor, so I wanted to eat one raw. But after looking up the side effects, it says it causes diarrhea, vomiting, and possibly death. So I'm going to opt for the second best thing, which is shrimp nigiri. This is going to showcase the shrimp's flavor with only two ingredients. Those two ingredients being Asian necessities, rice and soy sauce. I skewer the shrimp to keep them straight, but I realized the farm-raised shrimp don't have a shell. So I put it between the posterior aorta, but we'll just call it the foreskin. In shrimp nigiri, chefs usually poach the shrimp, but I thought we would lose some flavor in the water, so I steamed it instead. I've never made sushi, so this is my best attempt at trying to pack the rice. I was questioning why this tasted so salty and funky, only to realize I was deceived by my Asian instincts and used fish sauce instead. I restarted, and this time I gave the shrimp an ice bath to help release it from the shell. This yielded a far better product with more color. Now these look just like the Pokemon. Soy sauce this time. The control shrimp had a clean light flavor and slightly chewy. 6 out of 10. The Carabinero was way different. Super tender, breaks apart with a far stronger shrimp flavor. 7 out of 10. The next thing we're going to make is shrimp tempura. The technique for shrimp tempura is to make shallow cuts down the belly, then gently press down and you'll feel these snaps that break the vein. It's important to use ice cold water when making tempura because this slows down the growth of gluten and when you fry the shrimp, the intense temperature change yields a lighter, crispier texture. I'm making a non-traditional dipping sauce for the tempura called Bang Bang Sauce. It's from Bonefish Grill. We got mayo, sweet chili, mustard and sriracha from Panda E. These were absolutely delicious. As tempura, the carbonaro definitely had a better taste and texture, but with the sauce, I would rather buy a bunch of the cheaper shrimp so I could eat a giant bowl of it. 10 out of 10. I made some for my brother and this was his yeah. reaction. So taste it, taste the texture of it. Kind of chewy, very clean. Try the red one. Does <laughs> it taste the same to you? No. It's insanely different. Yeah. It's like I'm tasting a crab. They say it's like lobster but shrimp. Super soft Super in your mouth. In your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> it leaves the aftertaste of shrimp in your mouth. Like it's strong flavor. For $10? I don't know, but you can definitely tell that it's fancy. Yeah. Now I go on to make a spicy garlic shrimp stir fry. I leave the shell on so the sauce can really stick to it. This came out pretty fantastic too. The sauce was slightly sweet, spicy, and had a strong garlic flavor. I ate the whole plate. 8 out of 10. I'm gonna start making my Michelin star dish. Three tails. I'm gonna do the same method for the tempura. Slice down the middle, then flatten it so that these stay straight. All the heads we're still gonna save. Alright, so we got them flattened out. Now we're gonna make an incision right along the back. Salting them is gonna help firm up this meat and pull the extra moisture out. While those are setting, we're gonna work on these shrimp heads. We're gonna use everything on the inside for our shrimp head sauce. We're gonna get one egg yolk. Now we're gonna take our emulsion blender. We're just gonna wash the salt off of these, then get ready to butter poach them. This one, we're gonna get some garlic butter going. We're gonna fry those heads and infuse the oil with uh, that shrimp flavor. Frying the heads in the shell brings out the shrimp flavor and bleeds that color into the oil. For poaching the shrimp, I start with butter, garlic, and I add some water to keep it from burning. Add the shrimp and baste. We add the oil to the fat sauce and I microwaved it to cook it. I top the shrimp with chives and truffle gouda and I take a picture because this actually looks horrendous and it also tasted horrendous, possibly the worst dish I've ever made. I threw the rest away and it's because of the sauce. I didn't think to fry the sauce in the shrimp oil which might have made the sauce actually taste good. Huge L, it tasted like metal. I know I said that was supposed to be a Michelin star dish, but that was absolutely horrendous. The best dish I made was the shrimp tempura. The shrimp nigiri was pretty good too. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more. See you guys later.